how are you liking the improvement in the game of Kenneth Duffin in their last few contests? Well, definitely a, a tough guy, and he's maturing as a, he's, a, he's an amazing uh, specimen. Three all, two triples coming from Muya and Castro from the corner. Now Salado joins yeah. the early three-point party. Again, we were talking about him at the start of the telecast. He's been struggling, or at least in the last game, three out of ten from three-point land. Didn't show any hesitation on that one. No hesitation either for Jason Perkins. All of a sudden, nothing falling for TNT after a hot start. Salado. Spacing was not great on that drive. Perkins will launch and convert from deep. But he's got to work on getting these uh, stops. Look at this shot once again. They've been stuck at 16 for a bit now. While Perkins launches. How about 15? First quarter point for the hefty lefty. And the tough end hands it off to Mokon. One of those lineups that can uh, switch a lot of screens for Phoenix defensively. RJ, second look, it's good from downtown. They should not have allowed RJ Hazul to take a three because you cannot go under the screen again. The cylinder. And he knows his role. He will not be, you know, the recipient of too many passes coming from his teammates. But he can make his own offense. Another three. That should be a fun sweepstake. And I'm sure a lot of volleyball fans will be joining that promo. Alejandro looks straight. It's uh, good for three. I wish I was a fly on the wall on that one. Kenneth Duffin from the corner. That's good for three. What a big possession for Phoenix. This was after a demolition of the index road warriors. Now Phoenix with a 20-point lead against TNT. Alejandro, three-point shot is good again for his squad. Second three ball for JJ Alejandro. He has a total of nine points as Phoenix is just firing on all cylinders.